Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan to Cut or <laughs> Scan to Cut Data. Yeah, <laughs> Scan to Cut Canvas and Scallop on Facebook. Um, we're going to actually be using Scan to Cut Data in this uh, kind of video request. Someone who wanted to know how to actually cut out a cup. Um, I don't have a stamp of a large cup, um, so I went ahead and drew one on some scrap paper um, that I have. Um, I need to tell you. Oh, Okay, um, I need to tell you that if your cardstock that you're using is textured, please don't use the textured side. Use the smooth side because if you're using the new DX, um, the scanner, the resolution is so high that it can really throw in a lot of issues for you. All right, um, And when you're trying to pick things apart um, in this, it can really create havoc for you. So always use the smooth side if when possible. Okay. So we're just going to focus on the little cup right now, not any of the other stuff. We're going to use Scan to Cut Data because Direct Cut does not give us what we want right now. Scan to Cut Data, we're going to use the grayscale because the grayscale will give us the three options. The RGB will give us only two, and that is the full outline, um, or should I say just the outline of the entire image, nothing on the inside or the inside and the outside of the lines that it picks up. That is not what we want here. What we want here is the direct lines of everything that the machine picks up, okay? This one right here, so this is the outline, just the outside lines of everything it picks up, okay? So just that outside line. This is the inside and outside line of what it picks up, and then this is the line of everything it picks up. All right, and we're gonna focus just on the cup. And do you notice there are some ugly little marks here? We're actually gonna leave those in, um, but we're gonna go to op ignore object size right now because I'll show you how to get rid of them in here. All right, in here there's a lot of tiny things. Yes, we can start to remove those, but I will tell you that normally when you scan in something, these little lines can be broken apart. So if you're not paying really close attention, Okay, when you start removing this, you're going to start removing parts of your actual file. And you do not want to do that. Okay, oh look, some things just got removed that maybe I don't want to be removed. Okay, so I'm going to keep, well, that's all good, great, and fine. Okay, but this line is really long. So if I keep doing this, I'm going to delete basically my whole cup. So what you do is you come in here, ignore object size, um, unlock aspect ratio. And let's just go after the height. There, it all went away. Okay, but I'm going to actually not do that. I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to OK all the way through this because I want to show you that even if you manage to save all that crap that's in your file, there's still a really super easy way to deal with it. So you never have to worry. And I personally think doing it the way that I'm going to show you is actually easier sometimes because you can actually see what you're doing. Sometimes when you're... Uh, trying to do it in there, you might not actually see that parts of your file have been deleted, and that's a big no-no. Okay, so right now, that part of my file is selected. When I come in here, I'm going to hit that and hit it again, so nothing is selected. Now I'm going to use a squeeze box. I'm going to come in and I'm going to squeeze out every errant mark that is on my mat. Okay? And I'm going to delete it. I also see that one up there. Well, that just selected itself, so I'm going to delete that. Okay? All right, so now let's take a look here. Let's really blow this bad boy up. Okay, so I see there's all these little pieces that I don't want selected, but I also see there's an error in my scan right here, which means... Shit. Okay, so now I'm going to have to come in and I'm going to have to delete all of these marks and I'm also probably going to have to delete that too okay so let's see if I can come up here and pop on that nope see so cycle through here get on something I know I want to delete I'm not sure what that is yet so I'm gonna ignore that right now 
Okay, so I know I want to get rid of all that. What I'm doing is I'm deleting things that I know I do not want cut. Because everything that's showing in black will be cut. And I only want the outline to be cut. So I want to get rid of all of this. Yep. Nope, I want to keep that. So if I click that, yep, that showed up finally. Nope. Let's cycle through here. I don't know if that's the little piece. Oh, that is. Shadow. Okay, let's take a look at what that piece is. And that's what's good about having this. Okay, so yes, I can delete that. And that's just another errant mark. Okay, so if I delete this, so let's take a look. That was that little squiggly that went across. I know that I'm going to have to cut that by hand. Okay. See that? That's an error that the scanner made when scanning because it had that little squiggly line that actually went through and then it cut across, squiggled, and went through there. Now, if you're looking at my file, there's nothing like that even present here because I, I looked. There's not even a squiggle in the mark, okay? So, yes, you could try to scan it again. Okay, or you could take a pencil, since this is a pencil drawing, you could take a pencil and go over it a little darker if you wanted to, to correct that. Or you could take your acetate. If you've never watched one of my acetate videos, I highly encourage you to do this. Some people have confused it with, well, that's only for stamps. No, it's not. It is for stamps. It is for uh, hand drawings um, to trace over or to actually draw right on the acetate. Um, it's for fabric if you want to capture a certain design in your fabric. Okay, either it's printed in your fabric and you want to capture just that and your scan and cut will not pick it up. You can trace it and scan in your acetate to capture that part of the file. Then save the file, put your fabric down, pull up the file, background scan in the fabric and there you go right as rain, okay? Or you can draw out the pattern you want on the acetate, do the exact same thing, and you have that pattern then cut in that fabric that you created, okay? Acetate is absolutely amazing. And like I have said in every single video I've made, I wish Brother would include it inside their machines. It is a huge uh, feature for this machine because of the scanner, okay? So now I can come out and click OK okay okay please select cut I need to see what my pressure is my pressure five and because I did not move that I'm going to click start and we're gonna see what happens to it and remember I'm gonna need that little piece cut there so I may have to take my scissors to cut that Okay, I myself personally with things like this and every class I taught everybody knows how much I love acetate um, and if I have a file that has given me fits um, that's what I always default to because it literally takes two seconds to do that file and one I can save that file and always have it on the machine or two I can always keep that file in my acetate file folder that I have okay Okay, so here's this. Do my roll and pop method. Oops. Okay, and see it's stuck right there. So I know I need to be cautious. Take ye old fingernail, dig underneath there. So yes, it cut out all the way until I got right up to there which is exactly what the file indicated okay so I can grab a pair oh sorry I can knee the camera how did you find another squeaker toy oh these dogs cut it and be done
Okay, so there it is. But there are just a few helpful little things, hopefully, um, to have you better understand how to use the scanner, uh, scan to cut data, how to use ignore object size, or how to skip ignore object size altogether and just use the uh, select and delete button, okay? Um, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Okay, and real quick, I am going to add in acetate here because I don't want people running all over looking for the video. Okay, so what I did was I took a Micron 08 pen. I took a sheet or a little tiny piece of acetate. I put this little guy down, so we're going to just pretend that he's still drawn in there. Okay, I traced around him in acetate, okay, with my Micron. Do not lift, do not smear, okay? If there's any part of this line that's broken by a lift or a smear, or if you use a really thin uh, micron or one that's not black, it may not pick it up. It may not read it. Also, if your file is really close to the edge, I have a one inch and one inch rule. One inch down and at least one inch in, okay, if at all possible. As you see, everything that I have drawn here is well away from the edges. The scanner does not like to pick up things right near the edges. If you watch any of my scanner Jen Blasey videos, you will uh, see me talk about this in some of them, okay? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pretend that this little guy is still uh, in there, okay? We're going to take this over to La Machina. If I don't kill myself, my dog, or my machine first. I haven't been very graceful today. Okay. Alright. Load. Okay. Alright. And we're going to do scan. Scan to cut data. Sorry. Would help if you could see, huh? Yeah, Jen. Okay. And we're going to hit start. And this is just taped down with a little piece of uh, painter's tape. And we're going to let it scan in. Lordy, lordy, what is making noise? My machine, I tell you. So we're going to let it scan in and we're going to let it recognize and now come back. Okay, hang on, I need to move this. So y'all can see. It's like you're out in the cheap seats or something. Okay. Dang. Alright. So now, we're going to do this one. Because we want it to cut right on. And we're going to shrink it in. To get rid of all the noise. And we're going to preview. We're going to OK. OK machine come on come on come on come on come on we're in a hurry here we have things to do we're in a machine okay our home retrieve data machine down there okay edit blow us up oh crap I forget the processor is a little bit slower than what I would like it to be. Okay, and now look at that. Absolutely perfect. It picked up exactly what that file says. Okay? Oh, and don't worry about the line going across there. I did that. Okay? Um, but it picked up exactly what I drew and look how quickly it did it I wasn't sitting there monkeying around messing around with nothing so some people say oh the acetate oh, it takes so long no it doesn't it's actually ten times quicker than using the scanning and doing your ignore object size and trying to pick out all the bad stuff and then oh crap I lost some of my file and have no acetate you put it down you draw it you're done you scan it in there's my file so uh, I could put my little guy down there with, let's try it. Let's put a little piece of tape on the back of him. I don't know if this is a good idea, but hey, you know me, I'm always out for an adventure. I think this might stick up too far and my machine might eat it. Oh, dang. Let's click OK. 
Okay, background scan, start. If you hear something go, oh, that's the paper being eaten by my machine. Yep, it ate it. It ate the little handle. His little handle got a little bent up. You know what? I know what I can do. I'll get a piece of clear tape and put across him. Yeah, there we go. Now squish him down nice and well. We'll fix this. We'll make it work. It is too late in the day to be dealing with this kind of malarkey. There we go. Ooh, pretty nice. Pretty nice nifty needle. Okay, start. God, look at that hot mess. Ooh. I got pencil, gray pencil stuff all over my fingers. Okay. Hopefully I put it on straight. Oh, there's dog hair in it. Go figure. Okay, so let's come in here and we're going to edit. We got to group it. So we're going to select all. Okay, object edit. We're going to come in. Oops, we're going to come in here and group it. So now we can move it over our design. Oh my gosh, Charlie, slow down. Oh crap. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Perfect. So I could cut that out again. And look at how little time it took me to get that cut file. I literally just drew around it. Put that acetate on my white piece of paper. Scanned it in. Pulled that file up. Put my, uh, did the background scan I should say. And then placed the file over it and I was done. It is really that easy. All right, I just wanted to show you that because I don't want you running all over YouTube trying to find things that YouTube just will not pull up. All right, now if you have any questions, you can come find me uh, over under the mossy rock I hide under at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.